Okay, so please anonymize my document. Um, uh, by me. Uh, so why why do I even want to anonymize documents? Well, I um, uh, think that uh, that you're you're uh, looking at a bug report that some uh, user has made. So you're a, a developer or a QA person, and you're sitting on the IRC channel, and then you see that uh, somebody submitted this report. So you go to see you, you visit the bug page. And, uh, and they, uh, they describe the bug, I have this document, I'm doing this thing, I'm doing that thing, and this is what I get. Uh, and they, they're even nice, so they, uh, they provide some build information, which is really great. Um, uh, but then, when, uh, but even though they see the problem, you might not see it. So you try to follow the instructions, you don't see anything wrong. Um, even if you're, you're playing with the document a little, you know, putting effort into it, you still don't see it. Uh, so then you, uh, you, you go back to the bug page and tell the user, please give me a reproducer, a document I could use to w which exhibits the bug. Um, uh, or link to me, or link to that, or, or attach it. And then they tell you, I would really love to do that, but I just cannot upload this document to a public venue. And, uh, and this is the main motivation. Though. And, and why can't they just upload their document? Maybe it's personal or uh, it's a draft, um, uh, and that will make them, and publishing the draft will be a problem. Maybe it's the draft of the great American novel that they're writing, or it's a business contract, um, or maybe they're under obligation not to <coughs> disclose. So maybe it's a personal uh, promise, or it was created when they're working for some uh, company. It doesn't have to be big corp, it can be small corp. Um, uh, and, and actually, these are most of the documents that people are working on because uh, when, I'm sorry, because when, when do we, do we uh, discover bugs? When we're working on a document, that's a draft. And most of the drafts are, are things that you don't want other people to see. So, uh, so what are we going to do about that? The, the, the poor solution is have the, the user remove all the private information themselves, which is what they are supposed to do today, but this is actually difficult because uh, it could make the bug disappear. And uh, if they want to remove things selectively, then that's hard. And it's, and it's a lot of work. And if the document is large, then just forget about it. That's not going to happen. So bottom line with that is that the fraction of bugs that have documents attached to them exhibiting the bug is low, at least as far as I, as, as I can tell. So what's the better solution? Do this automatically. Um, uh, so you want to replace, so I have my, uh, my personal letter here and I want some tool to replace um, uh, this text. By the way, this does supposedly have a bug, never mind that it's a false bug, but uh, like the, the lines sort of seem to overlap. So I want to uh, submit a bug and then instead I get some sort of replacement text um, uh, instead and uh, hopefully the replacement text will have this similar features in some senses to the original like in a number of uh, words on the line or whatever and uh, then I can upload that instead um, and uh, this would be great um, and it's actually not that uh, difficult at least not the basic uh, form of anonymization because um, uh, we don't actually need to run LibreOffice in order to do this you can actually operate on the the, the ODT file or whatever uh, file format we support um, we just traverse text nodes and the the context uh, content.xml and also meta.xml from for the metadata um, and that means that you could have like a web form where you uh, uh, submit the document and some script run on the server and do that for you. And that means that you can offer this to people when they're reporting bugs on, on the Bugzilla. Um, uh, won't you also consider um, anonymizing your document and then uh, uh, uploading, like attaching it to your bug? And that would be like the real win. Um, and of course, there are lots of, uh, and this can be made simpler, but more, more complex and more featureful. So of course you want to scrub the metadata, that's, that's not hard. But uh, if you want support for multiple languages, that's another complication. Maybe multiple languages in the same paragraph which get different text. Um, do you want to replace it with some generated text or, or gibberish or like fixed text? Um, and then the, you're, you want to try to maybe maintain as many effects as you can um, uh, due to the, the choice of specific characters. 
um, and, and inter-character effects like connections in, in Arabic between the, between, um, the, 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 where the letters have connecting forms. Um, and of course, and another challenge is replacing graphics. So you want to rep maybe that has uh, private information you don't want to disclose. So it could just be like a rectangle with with uh, with nothing in it, um, or or maybe like blurring that could also be considered. Um, and the the even more significant challenge is if you want to do something with vector graphics. Um, but let's just start, if somebody is willing to implement this for us, us meaning QA people, uh, then let's just start with the simplest version that does just take care of the, the text and the, the meta fields, like the document description, and then we can worry about these things uh, uh, later. So that would really help us, it will help developers as well, I believe. It should not be that difficult, so please do this for us. So I'm done, yeah, question. No time for questions. <laughs>